Toifi. Toifi has actually been recommended to me a lot of times. Toifi. So I'm probably gonna Toifi. It's Kimberly. I'm here with Max. What's up, guys? I'm excited because today he's taking me to Edeka. It's the biggest Edeka in Germany, actually. I don't know about that, but it's huge. Okay, all the Germans are gonna comment below and say, <laughs> <laughs> find you another boyfriend. I just wanna start a little conflict. <laughs> Controversial. Beautiful. So I'm in particular going to the store today to get some different type of vests. Max, you have um you have a bunch of bottles, right? Yeah. Oh, we can show them how recycling in Germany uh -huh. works. Yeah. Even though 90% of y'all are German, <laughs> so y'all know how it works. <laughs> For the 10% of my American viewers that don't know how the recycling in Germany works, I'll show y'all. I'm here at the biggest, <laughs> Max has claimed, it is the biggest Edeka's. It's kind of empty. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> you will see Max's chest <laughs> in this whole entire video. I reckon we're gonna get about 20 euros out of this. 20 euros? 20 euro Roonies. I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get <laughs> fifth. No, um, I'm. In, I was gonna say 15, but I think that's undershooting it. I'm gonna reckon 25. You could just say 20 euros and one cent, and you'd be better off. Oh, you're right. Can I change? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, we are prepared. Wait, that's actually so cool. You can just put the whole cart in? Wait, you get okay. And 10 cents. I have never experienced this in my life, actually. Max is just putting them in full like that. Like he doesn't even have to do anything. And then you get money for it. Three Americans, I know this is a really foreign concept for y'all, but this is actually real life. So the first time I did this, I kept doing it the wrong way and it kept screaming at me. And then um, a guy, a German guy approached me and was like, you do it this this way. And then I said, oh, and he said, cool, huh? I like, yeah. <laughs> I won. <laughs> you did? I clearly won. I won. No, I won. 20, you said 25. I said 20. I'm gonna <laughs> rewind it, okay? You hater, you hater. I'm gonna reckon 25. You could just say 20 euros and one cent and you'd be better off. Oh, so this is a random side note is that I don't think in the US we have little candles on our plastic bags. At least I don't remember these, and I don't think we do. It's just plain, it's just nothing. And you just tie it up. Cool story, bruh. Cool yeah. story. Sorry. <laughs> this is the selection of bread at the grocery store here. I like Volk. Vollkorn Brot. Vollkorn Brot. Voll. 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 Voll.
Boychin. It's the same thing as to be bread, rolls, bread, bread. It's all bread. Okay, step one, do you get your bag? Step two. Okay, I just get it with my hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind, it's different. <laughs> do not drop the bread, Kimberly. Whatever you do, do not drop the bread. Schokolade in Deutschland. <laughs> Have you ever had these? These? Uh-huh. Toifi has actually been recommended to me a lot of times. Toffee? So I'm probably gonna Toffee. So I'm probably gonna get some of this and try it and make a video about it. You have it. to. So subscribe below if you wanna see that video, punks. Okay. So I love German chocolate. And um I'm going to show you all my favorite one. I recently tried Milka dark chocolate and it was delicious. I love dark chocolate. Okay, this is my favorite. Choco Croces. Bomb.com. Diggity Dom. Watch my me trying German snacks video if you want to see me trying these. They're really delicious. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's another aisle of chocolata. Okay, this is the one that I tried. Y'all, this is so good. Highly recommend it to everybody. I think it will go down as one of my favorite dark milk chocolates. Am I right, Max? Ah, I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's good. Yeah. But I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna film a me trying German candy chocolates? video. Maybe yeah, chocolates. chocolates. And I'll record that, so. This is the German cereal aisle. It's pretty large for German standards. It's really yeah. large for German it has standards. Pretty large packages too. Like yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah this is like a normal size American <laughs> cereal box, <laughs> but it's mega here. This is a German size cereal box. Yeah. <laughs> If any of you guys have been to an American grocery store, you know that there's usually around two aisles of cereal. It's massive and yeah, Americans love their cereal. Almost like Germans love their fermented vegetables. This is just to show y'all how much Germans love their fermented vegetables. They have everything. Pretty much jarred and fermented. <laughs> Am I right, Max? Yeah. All of this is jarred and fermented. White asparagus. It's all really delicious too. I really love it a oh, lot. Sure. I love this stuff. Red, red cabbage. Red cabbage is good. It tastes like baked beans, but in cabbage form. It's really good. Max is drinking water for the first time in his life. He never drinks water at home, but because they have it for free at Utica in Germany. He is <laughs> having to get it. It's a must for him. Duh. Free water in Germany? I'm gonna drink two cups of this. <laughs> While I am here, all of the meat and worst in Germany. Germans love their sausages. This is a common German thing too is sausage in jars they're pretty good they remind me of Vienna sausages which I actually like so um yeah there's a bunch of different worst here there's even bio worst my favorite worst is tea worst Germans what is your favorite worst comment below I got a lot of different types of worst that I'm gonna be making a video on and I'm gonna be trying different worst that I've never tried before, blood worst, other types of worst that were recommended to me. So if you want to see that, that will be up this week, sometime soon. So definitely excited for that. So this is a thing that is really common in Germany and it is not really common in the US and that is the milk. There's even butters and eggs that are not refrigerated and this is really common here. Um, yeah, all of this for us would be refrigerated but it's not here. 
and I don't know the reason behind it actually. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, that's how it is. The beer section in Germany, it's really small. <laughs> they have a shortage of beer here. There's clearly no beer. I love this beer. I love Bex. Um, I just love beer. I love beer. What is your favorite beer? My favorite beer, okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Come with me. Is actually this beer right here. Oh, uh, that one is good. Holstein. I, I tasted that in my beer tasting video, actually. You did, and I'm a HSV yeah, fan, Hamburg soccer club fan, and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just walk That's away after their main that. Sponsor. It used to be their main sponsor, so. There's actually a beer that I, I like this one a lot. This one is Keemzy. good. Keems it. I like Keems it a lot. Um, I do like the Bavarian beer. Hofbrau is good. I tried it at Hofbrau House and it's very delicious. Um, so yeah, here's the beer. I like how it's right next to the water section because beer is basically German's water, so. So a really random thing is that in Germany you're allowed to get these cases to rip it open and to just take one out. This used to be really strange for me and I felt like I was doing something criminal because you usually just buy it in the actual cases in the US. So really random thing that I wanted to throw out there. You gotta let the men do all the work. <laughs> Get you a housewife. Let the men do all the work, let the women do all the pain. $35 for all of this food. Well, not quite. Okay. Okay. Quite. It was like 35 plus 18 because we used the receipt. But still, the fact that we could walk out paying $35 <laughs> for all this food. Germany has an amazing system of recycling that you can walk out and pay $35 for all of this food. Fresh produce everything germany you really got it down you really got it down when it comes to food we do how long one are we and a half for? hours probably no one max hour. we were here for two and a half hours two and a half hours. max we were here since four i remember when we left the house it's 6 15. That's not two we're and a half here. Hours. Okay, we're here for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that video of me coming to Edeka, the grocery store here in Germany. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I love y'all so much. Ciao, tschüss, bis denn. Ciao, tschüss, bis denn. Ciao, tschüss, bis denn.